Hey everyone, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and we are doing the monthlies. Yes, November is here. 2021 is almost about to end. So we're going to start uh, the monthlies with Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Remember, these are general readings, times fluid and energies can be reversed so please take what resonates and leave the rest for others to receive if you're here for the first time welcome aboard welcome to my channel and if you've been kind enough to come back thank you and welcome back let's jump straight in we have the first one deep replenishment retreat rest be held you need to take a break darlings you need to take a break replenish yourself your energy levels are going down trust the niggle what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you that's your gut feeling trying to tell you something your angels trying to send you some sign don't ignore your gut feeling council of light divine orchestration helpers in the subtle realms yeah, it seems like your angels, your spiritual guides are trying to send across a message. You are kind of overworking yourself, I'm told. Let's get into tarot now. We're going to do the Celtic cross for the monthlies as usual. So, Geminis, let's see what tarot has to say. We have the fool at the present moment what's crossing you is the two of cups what's grounding you is the star that's beautiful your past energy is the eight of wands probably that's the reason why you're able to take that leap of faith devil ambitious ambitious energy right there crowning you then in the near future we have the page of wands renewed energy internal we have the hierophant external environment we have the wheel hopes and fears queen of cups outcome is ten of cups whoa eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck nice what energies one two three four five five major arcanas right here wow that's changes in the air i'm told change is in the air no wonder you feel all worked up the fool please clarify the fool let's quickly clarify these to take a deep dive in what do we have we have the emperor you are definitely moving towards something that is this is to do with career because i'm directly taken to the devil that is giving me zero negatives right now zero this is very ambitious zone that you are in right now gemini super ambitious zone the fool with the emperor you are all ready to take that leap of faith towards this getting the hold of the situation grabbing the opportunity yes that's that's what it is grabbing the opportunity that's going to really really put you in a very strong place professionally or personally crossing you is the two of cups and why is that are we focusing too much on work and not really because listen it has to be a balance of both we have the tower coming in this is transition time going on for you definitely this is this is a lot of change of energy shift of energy that's that's happening we have really strong energies around so probably that's the reason you're not able to have this connection with yourself or with someone else around you or the people that you feel close to pro maybe you are focusing way too much on this new opportunity that's coming your way and not able to give enough time there is no work-life balance that's the challenge right now i can understand if there's something that is really right now 
you know, you want to be in the driver's seat and go for it. This can sometimes be the case, but be mindful of that. The people that you care about for whom you are actually putting in so much of effort, do not leave them behind or forget about them in the process. The star as our grounding, we have the five of pentacles. Yeah, this is what's what's driving you. You felt like this for quite a bit of time. You felt left out, you felt lack, you felt abandoned, you felt things not working out for you basically, right? And your, I mean the first two cards, these I'm taking to both of them. This one. This is a divine orchestration in action, in process right now. Look at this. Your gut's trying to tell you something. Your angels are with you. This has got to do with your divine guidance. This has got to do with your divine healing, I'm told. Yeah, you got healed from this lack. You got healed from this. I do not know why life's not really moving in the direction that I want to go. This new opportunity that has come your way has really sparked you back. You are like, I'm back in the game, baby. Eight of Wands, probably because of some communication, some news that came your way. What is this Eight of Wands? Please clarify this Eight of Wands in the recent past. We have the Knight of Wands and the Six of Wands. Look at that. Knight of Wands, Six of Wands and Eight of Wands. This is definitely to do with some news and some communication, some information that came your way that is opened gates for you and you are all set. You have put your foot in the doorway. Yes, that's what's happened. And that's the reason you have really grabbed this opportunity. You didn't let this opportunity slip by. You are really, really focused on on the target right now. You are very focused on making sure that this doesn't slip out of your grasp. The devil, what's motivating us is this ambition driven energy along with the seven of, of swords. The seven of swords and the devil together, to be honest, this is, this is what, what is bothering me now. It wasn't bothering me alone, but now it's bothering me. You know, you are, you are going, I'm told by hook or by crook. That's the approach right now. I am going to get this by hook or by crook. It is for you to decide whether this is how you want to go about this huge life transformation that's in process, that's in progress, that's right now in action as we talk. This is by hook or by crook, getting there. Everything's fair in love and war, I'm told, okay? Page of wands in the near future with the four of pentacles in the reverse as well as the queen of wands in the reverse we are definitely letting go of something we are definitely trying to look at things from a new perspective this queen of wands in the reverse is again that's something that's bothering me because this is giving me again this feeling of by hook or by crook, but I, I mean, again, I'm not someone to here sitting here to judge you or to insert my point of view here. I'm just a messenger, whatever is coming right now. The Hierophant, see, this is, this is what I'm saying. It's kind of conflicting energy because you are all driven by ambition. That's great. You are like, by hook or by crook, everything is fair. I'm going to focus. I'm going to go. But internally, you do want this harmony. You know, you do want long term. You do want this work life balance. You do want this 
10 of cups all of that you truly want that you want that deep sense of fulfillment hierophant we have hierophant with the four of swords five of swords in the reverse yeah so it might be like by hook or by crook i gotta i gotta get it i need to there is no way i'm letting this opportunity slip by internally heart in heart this is what you want you want harmony you you want no conflict you don't really you're not looking for unnecessary confrontation unnecessary negativity in life no you you really truly are looking for peace and harmony i'm told again yeah this is what you're looking for in life well guess what you have manifested in your external environment the wheel the wheels turning my loves the wheels turning this is definitely like look we have death i mean i was about to say transition the the card says it all we have death death is like rebirth right endings and beginnings we are talking about ending cycle and beginnings this is the reason why you are to a level of desperation i'm told this is to the level of desperation like you just do not want this to somehow slip by it's gonna happen anyhow it's written in the stars for you you have manifested this so just stay calm just replenish you are really really stressing yourself out i'm taken to this deep replenishment retreat rest and be held that's what you need to do because this change is inevitable this change is happening in life now keep the right attitude at this point in time i'm told queen of cups in hopes and fears so let's see what is the clarification for this queen of cups in hopes and fears please clarify queen of cups in hopes and fears what do we have we have eight of wands again yeah you are really hoping this is hope you're hoping to get the communication that is going to bring peace to your heart that is going to finally relieve you of this stress there's a lot of relief that is coming my way with this queen of cups you will finally be able to take that deep sigh of relief after having put in that crazy amount of work after being you know on that horse go 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 you are truly hoping that you get that good news that is going to brighten up your day and that is going to lit up your heart that's going to lit up your heart yeah that's what you're hoping for guess what's the outcome we have the outcome as the 10 of cups it is surely going in that direction your hard work is going to pay off my gemini's 10 of cups as the outcome please clarify this looks absolutely gorgeous yeah just remember this is what you are working towards you see this family this is what you are working towards so no matter how big the transition is happening no matter if you're going through a tower time no matter if it is death the wheel we have huge 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 transformations happening right now the endings and the beginning this time is not easy for everybody remember to stay connected you are finding it difficult you are too focused on your goal right now but remember the reason why you are putting in all this effort is for this at the end of the day please clarify we have the 9 of wands yeah you do feel exhausted look i'm taken again to this retreat rest and be held you feel exhausted you finally reach there but i have somehow feel that you fear by the time you will reach your 10 of cups you're going to be so done like you know it happens when you are preparing for let's say thanksgiving or some big party at home you are preparing for like Three days straight, running to the grocery stores, getting the things, doing all the prep work, and what happens when you overexhaust yourself on the day? You fall sick. 
or you don't have enough energy to attend to your guests you're not you're not able to be the host you can be and you tr- truly want to be you put in so much of effort but when it comes to being there being present enjoying the moment you're not able to why because you're too tired so this could be a possible burnout situation that you are heading towards that's the reason why you need to go within take a deep breath and relax look i do not know why i shuffled because we were done we were actually done we have the two of cups again at the bottom eight of pentacles yes this is the focus that needs to stay keep your vision clear keep your vision clear man i have no clue why i kept shuffling this was this had to come out keep your vision clear with the two of cups stay connected with your loved ones and keep your vision clear wow what an absolutely high on energy uh reading gemini's i am literally out of my breath i feel so like i've been on a horse riding right now for your for your reading man let's pull a card for you from the yogic path oracle deck to wrap up the reading and see what your angels want you to know as your november energy reading we have vishuddha look at all that blue this is the throat chakra be kind when you are talking to people don't be harsh remember to use the right tonality it's not what you say it's how you say that makes all the difference okay that was the initial message let's see what this card has to say in detail for you you came to this world to speak and express and you are doing so beautifully now is the time to let your unique vibration shine speak your truth write your message sing your soul's language express your innate art this is a wonderful time to begin any communication related project look we had communication we have eight here we had eight here and we have eight here by the way we have eight 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 transformation transformation going on yes this is all to do with communication wow such as a book podcast or a business or to take your existing project to the next level no wonder you are so driven right now the throat chakra reminds us to speak our truth so continue to share what's on your mind with your closest relationships remember that it is just as essential to listen as it is to speak and great communication skill comes in mastering both listen to those around you to deepen relationship and listen to those who inspire you to deepen wisdom know that most communication is not in the words spoken but rather in their expression what did i say not what you say but how you say it that matters it is the time for you to craft your own beautiful beautiful way to wrap things up for this absolutely eccentric reading gemini i'm wishing you all the best stay connected with your loved ones and go for that goal it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods